Oh my gosh, guys, it's here. I have it. It's amazing. The 501st Battle Pack or the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set. Now, here we have the set built. Um, if you want to check out my first building, my first 501st Battle Pack, that video will be done tomorrow and hopefully uh tomorrow as well there will be how many of these should you buy so it will be a mini series on the five first battle pack just because there's so many videos i can do with it so i'm going to take advantage of that now before we get into the video don't forget to hit that like button smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell if you want to, to stay tuned for Br Brick Brothers content. So, um, yeah, so let's get straight into it. Let's look at the figures first. So let's move the vehicles out of the way. Grab this figure off. And... Move that. And let's look, take a look at the main reason why we have brought this set. And that is the 501st Trooper. Here it is, right here. Close up look. The new version. Looks pretty amazing. Oh my god, guys. There's a fly. Let me let it out right now. It's annoying me so much. Come on, fly. Anyway, let's just ignore it and let it go out by itself. Sorry about that, guys. So you have the Fiber First Trooper here. New version. Specifically from this set. The, the new version of the Fiber First Trooper only in this set. Um, this figure has been in such high demand. Um, yes. Is very new. Let's just take a look at it in more detail. So, the Five of First Trooper now has no blue arms, and I agree with that because there's barely any blue on the actual Five of First Trooper in the movie, and the torso area has or is now white instead of black, and. I agree with MNR Productions. Shout out to him. Go look him look him up. Big Lego YouTuber. That they should have had the belt printing on that torso they're going up to about there. That would have been nice to see. And yeah, so the legs are uh quite new. New addition. Um the face, the helmet uh is has two grey uh, I don't know what they're called. Grey um grey bits on them. I uh, don't know what they're for. Um, definitely a better helmet look. And as you saw back then, they have the new clone trooper face. They have got as in the summer wave. They have got rid of the angry clone face. Many people called it, and I didn't mind about that because I never took the helmet off. Um. Yeah, so, looks, many people say this is more realistic Django Fett, which it is. And it's uh, very nice, very nice. Definitely more realistic. And if I was to compare, maybe in the future, Brick Brothers comparison video, Angry Clone Face, and the Django Fett Face, that might be coming, so stay tuned. Uh, so if I was going to compare... I would prefer that one more. Okay, so let's move on to the next figure, which is pretty much the same trooper, but it is the Five of Us Jet Trooper. Now, this one does have the blue arms, has a slightly different helmet. As you can see here, same legs though, has some nice red printing, a bit more blue on the top. The grey bits are now blue on this helmet. 
and it's quite nice. It has the blue arms and a very nice blue jetpack. Uh, yeah, so they've kept with the blue arms on that one. This figure is actually based not from Star Wars Battlefront, but the new season seven Star Wars The Clone Wars series where they are jumping off the bridge. They're hiding underneath the bridge. And the next two figures, you could say they're figures. I, I say they're figures, but many, some people, because they're droids, they don't class them as figures, are the regular battle droids. And it's always nice to get a few battle droids in this set. A uh, very nice addition. Just the classic battle droids that we've got so, for so many years now. Um, yeah, they haven't changed much with them. And, uh, yeah, not much to say about them. But, uh, yeah, let's move on to the Bark Speeder. Now, in the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set, you do get two vehicles. One being the Speeder. One being the ATRT. Now, the Speeder, very nice build. Thought it was quick and easy to build. Uh, doesn't have those pan those uh, panels on the bottom, so there's quite a bit of noise there, as you can hear that. Um, nice detail on the sides. Has those two stud shooters at the front for that playability. Um, uh, two places to hold your weapons here and here and if you want the weapon if you want to switch your weapons around say this trooper you want to switch your weapons around you can um i really love these handles like just like in uh, star wars revenge of the sith episode three uh they can pull them back and like that so to accelerate and to slow down but the only Bummer to me on the spark speeder is when you do that, uh, you can't actually pull. Wait a second, you can't actually pull them, uh, pull them back with the actual trooper, so you can't move them forward or back with the actual trooper in, in the arms, as you can see. You can move it like that, and then the other thing is sometimes it breaks, as you can see there. Sometimes you get lucky, but most of the time it will break. These hand handles can be quite annoying, uh, which is a downgrade in my eyes. And uh, yeah, so that pretty much sums up the speeder. Very nice build overall. Not complaining. Great build. Um, yeah, so moving on to the ATRT. Here we have the ATRT. Um, very nice build. My first ACRT. I'm looking to get some other ones. Um, in the how many should you buy for the first battle packs video that I'm going to post tomorrow. I'll be telling you how many of these I'm going to get. Whoa. And, yeah. So, um, start off with, let's look at the feet. Um, feet there. Very nice. Very nice little build on the bottom. Very movable. You can move them. Uh, you can move the feet up and down. Don't know why they would have them like that, I guess. But, yeah, nice detail. And then if you go onto the side, you obviously have these panels. And this nice little detail there. If you go onto the back, you can hold binoculars or a weapon. Um, you have these mini antenna things here. I don't know what they're for, maybe they're for like, um, say uh, for a playability feature, a kid might want to pretend there's something behind them, shoot something out, I don't know. Um, very hard to break off here, I pull it back, oh, unless you do that, so I guess uh, it is quite easy to break off, <laughs> if I do that, they're not coming off though. Uh, the only way they can come off is you obviously pull that off. Or how I hit it like super hard and it came off. So, did not help my point there, but, you know. And then, the main complaint about the ATRT, many people think the stud shooter is really bad. But now seeing in person, I thought it was like, I was so annoyed they didn't have the normal cannon. 
but in person it doesn't look too bad but i would have preferred the cannon coming out front uh obviously in this set in this vehicle comes with a lot of stickers which i absolutely hate and i wish they could just print them on the pieces but that's more work for lego and i understand why they make the stickers and in the cockpit area the bit i left out there is um a nice control panel to move the ATRT, which is very nice. So um, there you have it, guys. The 501st Clone, 501st Legion Clone Trooper set uh, review. Many people have been wanting this set for a very long time, and you finally have it here. And I'm so happy to be showcasing it for you. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe. That would help us out a bunch. Um, yeah, so don't forget to check out all our other videos, our other reviews, mock building series, um, favourite set, favourite set series, um, building, building the sets. Um, and yeah, so... Have a wonderful rest of your day and...